Yoko Ono is known for her unconventional ways more than any other wife of a classic rock singer. George Harrison disclosed that during the Beatles' recording sessions, Yoko slept beneath a piano. George clarified that it was challenging to finish the mentioned album. Several of the songs on the album were inspired by Yoko, as John Lennon disclosed. In an Entertainment Weekly interview from 1987, George talked about how the White Album came to be. There was a lot of strain on the White Album, the silent Beatle reflected. I had just returned from three months of intense meditation in the Himalayas, and I was feeling very well when we started it. However, he added, strange things of all kinds were beginning to happen. Yoko was sleeping under the piano throughout the recording of the album, which was a little weird because John and Yoko had just gotten together. George was questioned about the notion that the White Album was essentially a compilation of four solo albums. Yes, I did read that, he answered. It's partially accurate, but that's not the case for all of them. The White Album wasn't the only one. Mostly, it was John performing his song and we were supporting him. Sometimes, I would perform my song and they would support me. He recalled, of course there were times when everything came together and everyone was contributing. A lot of them, like Rubber Soul, required a lot of teamwork. George also described Abbey Road as a team endeavor, pointing out that the band had to learn the harmonies for Sun King and other tracks in the album's medley together. An interview from 1980 can be found in the book All We Are Saying, the last major interview with John Lennon and Yoko Ono. John spoke with the interviewer about Yoko's influence on the White Album. The song, Everybody's Got Something to Hide Except Me and My Money, was written by him during the White Album sessions because he believed that only Yoko and he were not paranoid. John believed that because he and Yoko were in love, they had clarity unlike anyone else. The vocalist of Imagine also connected the title of the song to the couple's open and honest manner of living. Yoko was also the inspiration behind the White Album song, Happiness is a Warm Gun. John remembered writing, Happiness is a Warm Gun, because he and Yoko had a really sexy relationship at the time. John remembered that those two were in bed while they weren't in the studio. The Fab Four's White Album stands as one of their greatest albums ever, despite Yoko's peculiar sleeping patterns during the recording process.